everybody, it's Michelle here. Sorry I'm a minute or two late. I could not get my life to work. So hopefully it's working right now. Let me know. If anybody's here, give me a thumbs up. And if I don't get a thumbs up, it's probably not working. But just in case, I'll keep going. And then if it's not working, I'll just redo it. So it just looks different than it normally does. Oh well. Okay, so this is day two of P&I, which is just what I call psychic and intuitive development. And um, I wanted to talk today about psychic development versus, oh good, Deborah, I got a thumbs up. <laughs> this is working. Thank you so much for doing that, I appreciate it. I wasn't sure if this was working today. Okay, so good, I feel a little bit better. I know it's working. Okay, so I want to talk about, somebody posted yesterday a question like, Michelle, is this group really focused on psychic development? That word doesn't resonate with me. And I wanted to talk about that. And maybe psychic isn't the best word, but honestly, this is what it is. So let's talk about it. We've got psychic and intuitive development. And here's the difference in my view. And how I teach it so see if this resonates with you your intuition is you your soul listening to your own guidance understanding how you're wired using those are the gifts of being an empath and developing those to make your life run smoothly or to step into your life purpose that's that's intuition to me it feels I, I don't always have the right words but to me it feels like a connection to my soul that's the best way I can describe it that's intuition that's using your intuition to 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 be in your own life in a grounded and balanced way and in moving and doing things in your life that are fulfilling to you because if you're doing that you're, you're serving the world in the best way you can. Okay, so that's intuition. We're always working on that in psychic and intuitive development. That's really why you're he that's why you'll be in it. It's to develop your own abilities. Psychic is that exact same thing, using your abilities, using the way you perceive, and, and helping someone else with those abilities. That's the difference. So in my mind, when we talk about intuition, I'm talking about you honing your abilities, developing your abilities for your greater good. And then when I talk about psychic, I'm talking about you using your system for someone else's greater good. That's, that's all I mean. And I don't know how you feel about that, but that is really the basis. Now, you might say to me, Michelle, why would you teach psychic development? I'm not interested in becoming a psychic. This group, you can be interested in becoming, developing and becoming a psychic. That's not why, that's not the purpose of this group. I have to try to explain this, why we develop our psychic abilities. And I'm not great at explaining this because it's more of a like, you have to do it to get it, but I'm gonna try. When I see, if I just teach you intuition and we always just practice on ourselves, when you are with yourself, it's very hard to get um, a different perspective, right? It's very hard, you're you. When you're you and you use you, your abilities and share with someone else, they then give you feedback. And that helps you understand your system even greater than you could have ever done by yourself. Does that make sense? So it's in us practicing psychically, in other words, using our abilities to help, to, to using what we're getting and offering it in a loving way to someone else who is open and receptive and is practicing with you. When they give you feedback, and the feedback's always amazing, it goes like, um, let's say I'm practicing um, my intuition for the first time. I'm practicing my intuition and I'm brave enough to give someone 
what I'm getting for them. And there's a lot of pieces that you'll learn in it, like setting an intention, um, protecting yourself if you think you need it. Again, that's, that's, we'll learn all that in membership, but let's just keep it basic right now. So I'm, I'm the one and I'm giving someone what I'm, I'm giving someone what I'm receiving intuitively and I'm offering it to them. What they're going to do then is give me their feedback and you'll be surprised how much people resonate with, with what you tell them. Because think about it, you're an empath sensitive. You're already doing this. You've just never practiced. So what they're going to do then is give you feedback and then that starts to build on the inside. You're going to start to see how you're wired. You're going to go, huh, I was actually right about that. Huh, that's interesting. That felt off to me. Huh, that was interesting. And you'll start to see all those little idiosyncrasies that you're feeling. That's the thing you're building. That's your intuition. That starts to develop within you. And then the greatest gift of that is you will trust your own intuition. You will believe in yourself so much because you were brave enough to practice with other people and they will give you feedback and it will build your confidence and trust in yourself. I, I, I get chills thinking about it. It's the, it's the funnest, most wow, exciting, fun way for people to, to realize how awesome they are. <laughs> Because you are we're sensitives and empaths and I just I just know that that's the best way for me to help people so um, I hopefully I answered that question for you does anybody have a question about that I'll try to catch it here right now but if you if I don't I'm gonna make sure I go through this thread and grab it okay so I'm so glad somebody asked that yesterday because I don't want anyone to be afraid of the word psychic I hope you understand what I mean now Psych intuition is your abilities, you strengthening and developing your trust with spirit, with yourself, with your soul, with your guides. Use whatever words that resonate with you. The universe, God, Jesus, every religion, everyone in any religion is welcome here or no religion. This is not religious. I will say it's spiritual though. When you, when you tap into connecting with your own spirit, that is spiritual. I, that's just the way it goes. So, but any religion is welcome. Um, this is not a religious thing. And then the psychic is you sharing your intuition with the intention of love and light for someone else, for their healing, for their understanding. And I really do think that's the gift of being an empath sensitive when you start to share this innate ability within you with others that was the case for me that that's where my fulfillment and I felt alive again that that's that was that was it for me so that's why I do this now and that's why I'm created this membership is because I want other people to feel it it's amazing and it'll have a ripple effect for once you develop your abilities you're not gonna want to stop you're gonna want to do something with that you're gonna be like how, how do I want to serve in the world? What do I want to do with all this stuff? And then, then we'll need to talk about that. And maybe we'll need to be, a, you know, talk about whatever that looks like for you. And that's okay. Um, I hope that makes sense today. Please, uh, I, I think I put the link at the top if it's working. If you want more information about psychic and intuitive development. Hopefully I put a, a different, you have a little bit better idea of what I'm trying to do in this group. We already have several people that joined. I'm excited. We have a private Facebook group that goes with this, so we're already chatting inside of there. Um, we have orientation coming up on August 8th, but registration for this membership closes next Thursday because I want to close the doors and then I want to just turn and focus my attention on the people that are, have decided to come into membership. If you have any questions, please let me know in this thread and I'll make sure to answer them. Okay, have a great day. Bye.